This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the physical properties of cis trans isomers. In our first example, we will compare the boiling point and the melting point of two isomers cis 12 dichloroethene on the left and trans 12 dichloroethene on the right. As you can see, the cis isomer has a higher boiling point than the trans isomer. If we compare the melting points, the cis isomer has a lower melting point than the trans isomer. The cis isomer is a polar molecule because it has both chlorine atoms on one side of the double bond. The trans isomer is a non-polar molecule because it has the chlorine atoms on opposite sides of the double bond. The polarity of the molecule influences the boiling point. The cis isomer has dipole-dipole attractions between molecules, whereas the trans isomer has van der Waals forces between molecules. Because dipole-dipole attractions are stronger than van der Waals forces, the cis isomer has the higher boiling point. The symmetry of the molecule influences the melting point. This is because closely packed molecules have stronger intermolecular forces. The molecules in the trans isomer are able to pack more closely together, therefore the trans isomer has the higher melting point. In our next example, we will compare the melting point of cis-butene dioic acid and trans-butene dioic acid. The trans isomer has a higher melting point than the cis isomer. This is because the cis isomer forms intramolecular hydrogen bonds, those are hydrogen bonds within the molecule, whereas the trans isomer forms intermolecular hydrogen bonds, those are hydrogen bonds between molecules. Therefore, the trans isomer has the higher melting point.